Hello and welcome back again to everybody. Today we are going to be focusing on a topic which is principle of labeling. Mm, labeling by definition is computation or the process of determining the relative altitude of any two points between any points or two or more points we have to find a relative altitude between these points and these points may be located on the surface of the earth or below the surface of the earth here on this i am taking i am assuming a certain part of the terrain of the earth and i am focusing on a two points point a and point b so the principle of leveling would be to determine the relation of the elevation between these two points a and b when we talk about the elevation of the points we can introduce a new term which is reduced level and this reduced level just represents a certain height by which our point is above or below a certain reference and this reference is called datum here I'm taking both considering both of my points are above the datum line and the distance between this datum line and my point A would be my reduced level of A and similarly distance between point this datum line and point B would be my reduced level of point B so what we need in order to get the relation between these two points is an instrument and a certain setup of the instruments we need a level and staff placed at these two points then we take a reading at these two staffs and by principle of label we have a horizontal line of sight on the label when a label is uh, when the bubble of the our label machine is adjusted horizontally the line of sight where we can take a measurement through this uh, instrument is always horizontal and the reading taken at the staff A, B, A, A dash and reading taken at the staff B can be assumed as B, B dash. So what we similarly, as similar to the datum line, if we draw a point that lies at the same elevation as in the elevation of point A, we can here draw another imaginary line and every point on this line has the same level as point A or the same elevation as point A. Then the reduced level or elevation of point A will be the height by which it is above the datum line. So the elevation of the point A will be, let us assume it is yet. So always in labeling we transfer a level of a known point and you use it to find the compute the level of an unknown point here in my case let us say a is the a is the point whose elevation is already known or whose level is already known I'm, and i am transferring this level to point b and in order to do that we have to find this difference between these two points which is x so if we find this x we can add this x to the elevation of a and we get the elevation of B. So the common link between these two um, points is actually our horizontal line of sight, which lies at the same distance from the datum line. So if we take a uh, left part of the reading and right part of the reading, if we compute the value distance and equate them, we get a certain relation such as this. And on further solving this relation, we get the value of x to be the staff reading of point A minus the staff reading of point B. So it says it shows that the difference between the level of these two points is given by the difference in the staff reading at point A and point B. So this actually is the principle of labeling, but here the datum line are horizontal everything is horizontal and this would be ideal if our earth was flat but since our earth is not flat we have to consider the effect due to curvature of the earth too so let us consider the curved surface of the earth and again two different points that we are interested in 
the setup is same as before we take a label machine and uh, to to staff and the staff reading at these two different points that we are interested in again the staff reading is always gonna be uh, the line of sight of our instruments is always gonna be horizontal and the datum that we the reference line we use to compute the elevation is gonna be curved due to the curved uh, nature of our earth surface and similarly if we join the points every points which are at the same elevation as in point a we are gonna get another curved line and if we draw a plumb line that is the line which is normal to the surface of the earth this plumb line always goes towards the center of the earth and meets at the center of the earth this means our our two different curves one is the curve due to the level line of point a and one is our datum these two are always these two have the same center which is the center of the earth and the distance between these two points are equal are always equal and this value is equal to the assumed or uh, the known relation uh, reduced level of point a so since the reduced level of point a is known to find the reduced level of point b we only need the value or the difference between these two points which is x so the common link again between these two points would be this horizontal line of sight but here we have to consider the curvature the major thing we have to consider here is the curvature of the earth due to the curvature of the earth we are going to get a certain error and this error can be nullified if we keep our station exactly equidistant from these two points so this is the common practice the level line the instrument is set up exactly at the uh, level uh, the instrument is set up equidistant from two reading points in order to nullify the error certain errors and this include the errors due to curvature of the earth too again if we use the simple mathematics and compute this certain uh, do a certain set of operations we can see that the x is equal to difference in the staff reading at point a and b here the most important part is to consider the curvature of the earth and keep our instruments equidistant from the point that we are taking the measurements Thank you.